Well, good afternoon. On my way home from church, I stopped by the post office, and guess what? I got mail. Yeah. So I'll show you my first card. I got a card. Let me see. Ciao. Hey. Hi, Sandy. My name is Sydney, and my mom, Lisa Stravino, is one of your biggest fans. She's been watching your YouTube channel for a while now, and she always tells me about you. She refers to you as my friend in Michigan. I wanted to write you to see if you could go give her a shout-out in one of your next videos. Well, of course I will. This past week, she's been at the hospital because she had a blood clot in her leg. It's been a tough few days for her and our family, but she has been very strong. She watches your videos from her hospital bed, and I know they brighten her day. She's home now trying to rest as much as she can with her two little chihuahuas. Thank you for being a positive light in her, a positive light in her life. Sydney Stabenow. Well, Lisa, get better. Get better really soon. I wish I would have read it before I went to church. I would have said extra, extra prayers for you. I say prayers for all of you anyhow, but um, blood clots are nothing to shake a leg at, I tell you. Uh, shake a stick at, not a leg. Well, you know, they're in your leg. Maybe if you shake your leg, it might loosen up the blood clot. <laughs> No, that's not how it works. Uh, my next, not my neighbor, but the next neighbor over two doors down, um, he was just hospitalized, hospital, hospitalized for uh, blood clots also. It's just not something you want to take a um, chance with. You want to be careful with that. So uh, Lisa, uh, Sydney did you well. You raised a good, I'm, I'm assuming she's a daughter because my best friend when I was growing up, her name was Sydney. I know it's either a boy name or a girl name because remember on MASH, uh, the psychiatrist's name was Sydney. So, I mean, it's a, you know, like Sandy's a girl's name or a boy's name. In case you didn't know, it's also a dog's name. Well, I think a lot of dogs have weird names anyhow, but Little Orphan Annie, her dog's name was Sandy. So, well, thank you, Sydney, for letting me know about your mother. And Lisa, get better really soon. Really, really, really soon. That's a child to be proud of. It likes you so much. Well, not likes you, loves you. Okay, I got another card. And let's see who this one's from. How cute. It's a snowman. I still have a little bit of snow. We have more ice on. The little snowflakes are already falling out. Got to be careful. I can see that. My sister-in-law, Molly, when she sends you a card, you always have to be careful when you open it because she does. She's got one, two, three, four, five snowflakes. Let me see if I can show you a snowflake. There's five of them. How cute. Oh, no, I meant, I lied. Two of them stuck together. There's six. You know what they say, one snowflake doesn't do much, but you put them all together and you have a snowman. Okay, let's see what the card says. Oh, but now you know what, I lied. There's another one, there's seven. Hi Sandy, greetings from snowy, cold, and sunny Minnesota. Has it, this been quite the winter? Oh my gosh, it's been, you know, and in Michigan, they predicted that it was gonna be a mild winter. Just shows you, you can't believe it. Uh, I admire your attitude and spirit. You are an inspiration, whether you lose or not. As long as you eat well and stay healthy, that's all that matters. God bless you, Carol Evans. Thank you, Carol, that's such a nice, nice, nice note. Oh, you know what? And there's more snowflakes stuck on the, uh, card because this looks like a homemade card and you know how much I love homemade cards. I'll never make a homemade card, but I like getting homemade cards. Thank you. And then I got a patch with St. Patrick's. Our Irish name in Ireland is Fanion, F-A-N-I-O-N. And then when we came, my parents came, or not my parents, my grandparents came over, um, they went by Mannion. And then somehow it got changed to Manning. Go figure. But anyway, we are Irish. Oh, how cute. It's almost like I don't want to open it, but you know I will. Okie dokie. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, cool. It's an inspirational quotes book by Joyce Meyer. I like Joyce Meyer. Of course, there's a card. You gotta read the card first. And it says, Sandy. Who's Sandy? I'm Sandy. With my own little pot of gold. Oh my gosh, I wish I could win a pot of gold. As I was driving home today from church, I'm thinking, I so want a new car. 
but I don't want the car payments to go with it. So guess what? I'm not getting a new car. Uh, it's St. Patrick's Day. May happiness often enter your gate and stay very late. That's a Gaelic blessing. Dear Sandy, sending you love from West Virginia. Blessings to you, my friend and sister in Christ Jesus. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Wishing you a happy St. Patrick's Day that warms your heart and fills your world with secret, special happiness. Teresa Parker, Mimi's Life. See, and I always thought your life, name was Mimi. I never knew it was Teresa. Now I'm going to figure out why you call your channel Mimi. It must be a nickname. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, we're going to open up a quote randomly. Let's see what it is. See, and it's good that this is a Sunday, too. Prayer is the greatest privilege we have. It's not a duty, obligation, or last-ditch effort. It should always be our first line of defense. I like that. Let's see if we can find another one. I like this one, too. We can't control what other people do and how they decide to treat us, but we can control our response to them. I know, so hard. sometimes it's really hard to bite your tongue. It really is. Get rid of all bitterness and rage and anger, brawling and slander, along with every form of malice. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 4.31-32. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. God never asks us to do anything without giving us the ability to do it. I can do all things which he calls me to do, through him who strengthens and empowers me, to fulfill his purpose. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses me with inner strength and confident peace. Philippians 4.13. Well, thank you. You know, I do a lot of spiritual reading, more so during Lent, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, this is definitely a book that I'm going to be reading every day. So thank you so much, Teresa, or Mimi's Life. I think that's who it's from. I'm assuming it's from Mimi's Life. But I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe you're just Mimi. Maybe you're not Mimi's life. I don't know. Oh, no, you are Mimi's life. It says right on there. Well, thank you once again. You guys bless me in more ways than I can ever thank you. I really do. Um, I just watched a documentary on uh, Netflix about Bill Murray, how he just touches people's lives, how he just shows up at, at different events, not as a star, but just as a, among you, like one of us among you. And... Um, I feel that way too. If I was like famous, I would like to live like that. I would like to just show up and, and be like that. I really would. I, I, I just do. And I've met a couple of you and, I, I've, and I've gone out to lunch with you and I love it. I really do. I love meeting you. I really do. So uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I, all I can say is thank you. You guys touch my heart all the time. Every day of the week, you guys bless me in some way or another. Thank you so much.